my channel and welcome to today's video. Now we're getting on to that time of the year when we tend to get cracked, dry, rough looking lips. Today I have a wonderful lip treatment for you. This treatment is not only going to get rid of the roughness on your lips, but it's also going to leave you with bright, pretty, pink, rosy looking lips. So if you're interested in today's video, continue watching. Our first ingredient is rice and you can use whatever kind of rice you have. Rice is a great exfoliator for the lips. Using the rice on the lips is going to get rid of all the dead skin cells from your lips. Our next ingredient is tomato and tomato is known to help to brighten and lighten the lips. When you use the tomato with other ingredients, it's also going to help to plump the lip up. Our next ingredient is beet, also known as beetroot, and this is going to help to turn your lip pink. It's going to help to give the lip a bright and radiant color. Not only that, this is loaded with antioxidant that is great for the skin. Therefore, when mixed with the other ingredient, it's not only going to help to give the lips a nice bright pink color, but it's also going to help to plump and moisturize the lips. I'm going to use two oils and the first one is going to be vitamin E oil which I'm using to hydrate the lips. It's going to help to get rid of cracked lips. It's also going to help to make your lips smooth and supple. I'm also going to use some grapeseed oil and grapeseed oil is loaded with vitamin E. It's also going to help your lip to be smooth and supple and also going to help to give the lip a nice wonderful sheen without being greasy. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to blend the And I'm going to blend about a quarter cup of rice, not to worry, you can always store the blended rice in the refrigerator. Now when you blend this rice, you're not going to blend it to a powder, you're just going to blend it fine enough so you could get the scrubbing effect from the granule. And here is our blended rice and take a look it's coarse enough for exfoliation now for our tomato you're gonna also blend the tomato and I already have some blended tomato here so I'm gonna put this aside and I'm gonna work on the beet so I'm gonna peel our beet And this is the peeled beet and now I'm going to chop the beet because I'm also going to blend the beet. So just chop the beet in small pieces. We're going to put a piece of the beet to the side. We're going to use this later and this part we're going to blend. So now we're going to blend our beet. Now here is our blended beet. Please note, if you do not have a blender, you could also choose to grate both the beet and the tomato. So we're just gonna scrape our beet out. And it's gonna be very dry, that's okay. That's exactly how we want it to be. So here we have our lip scrubber. We have the tomato, the beet, and we also have our rice. So now I'm gonna put all these together. So I'm gonna use two tablespoons of rice. Next, I'm gonna use one tablespoon of our tomato juice to start with. And I'm gonna take one tablespoon of our blended beet. And now we're going to mix this together. You do not want it to be too dry, nor do you want it to be too watery. So just blend it together. Now if it's too dry, add a little bit more tomato juice to it. Let me test mine. And this is good. No need to add any more juice. 
And now the lip scrub is ready to use. And here I have a little container and I'm going to put my lip oil in this. So I'm going to use about a, a teaspoon of grapeseed oil. And this is my vitamin E oil. And I'm going to take a few drops. If you have vitamin E capsule, go ahead and use that. So I'm adding a couple of drops, probably about five drops, 28,000 IU vitamin E oil. And this is our lip oil, so I'm just going to mix the two together. You can also choose to use some coconut oil in this. If you have beeswax, you could melt it and put it in this also. However, this is a quick and easy lip moisturizer. So next, I'm going to take a little bit of our blended beet. I'm going to add this to our oil. We're going to mix it in, just let it soak in it. And we're going to set this aside to use on our lips later. So here we have our lip scrub. We have an extra piece of our beet and we also have our lip moisturizer. So now I'm going to show you how to use this for bright, clear, pink, plump lips. So here is our lip scrub and this is what we're going to use first. So I'm going to zoom in. So I'm going to take my lip scrub. Just exfoliate the lips. Now once you're finished exfoliating the lips with the rice and the beet mixture, you're going to rinse off and we're going to move on to step two. Now here are my lips. Now remember that extra piece of beet? Here it is. And now we're going to use it to exfoliate the lips a second time. You're just going to rub the beet on your lips like I'm showing here. Just rub it. Now after three minutes, you're going to rinse off a second time. You want to pat dry. Now after exfoliating the lips, you're going to reach for your lip moisturizer. And you're just going to dip your finger in. Just take a little and you're going to use it on your lips to moisturize the lips. Now for best results, you want to do this to your lips at least four times per week. Just exfoliate the lips, just use your bead on the lips, and then you moisturize the lip with your lip moisturizer. Continue to do this, and in no time, you're on your way to brighter, clearer, pinker lips. And not only that, you're on your way for more fuller, more thicker, and more plump lips, okay? Now for your leftovers, you can store this in your refrigerator for a good 10 to 15 days, okay? For your beet, you want to use a fresh piece of beet daily. However, one beet could last for a week. Just cut a little piece and put the leftover in the refrigerator also, all right? So there you have it. Go ahead and try this wonderful lip treatment. Use it as often as you can for best result. Now, if this was the first time watching, look below, you're gonna see the word subscribe. Just click on it and you will be subscribed. Also at the side, there's a little bell. If you click on that, you will get a notification each time I upload a video. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.